dual monitors. When people use that term, they usually talk about having two monitors, or sometimes more, but dual kind of means two. Two monitors connected to the same computer. And you could have the same thing on each monitor, but usually you'd use the second one to extend your desktop, which is great. You can connect two monitors and use them as though you've got one big monitor. And you, you get basically just more room to put various windows around and you can see more at once. Now for a year I used only my Mac Mini in here and that only supports one monitor but now I have an iMac it has a, obviously it's got a monitor th it's, the monitor's built in it's an all-in-one computer but it's got a video output on the back as well. Now the output on this particular iMac is a mini DVI and the monitor I have that's sitting in the middle here I've got, you, you should be able to see it, this old CRT connected to my Mac Mini and then this monitor here which is going to be connected to my iMac which is straight in front of me this is has a VGA input so obviously I need some kind of adapter which is in this envelope right here so this is a mini DVI to VGA adapter. I tried a few from Amazon. They all got sent back because they didn't work. So this is from Apple. And as usual, Apple charged far too much for it. This came to nearly £20. But I like having two monitors. So it's nicely packaged and wrapped there, and there it is, the mini DVI to VJ adapter, this is an official Apple one, so I'm hoping this works, if it doesn't then obviously the problem will be with something else, and if there's a problem with my iMac I won't be too pleased. So never seen packaging like this, I don't know how I'm supposed to open it. There, that bit just peels open. Stuck down very well. I've got it out. So it's it's got a bit of cable in the middle, so it's not a standard just a little adapter, but it's not too long. And if I take these plastic caps off the each end, this side goes into the back of the iMac, then a VGA cable will go into there. So it it makes it so it's just as though you've got a VGA input. Well, no, it's kind of out a a, a VGA port on the back of the computer what would this be? this would be the female side I suppose so <laughs> I apologise for my bad explanations but th just a standard VGA cable goes into this side I can't really pull it out that much and then the other side of it will obviously go under the, the external monitor so I just need to screw it in the screw has obviously been on my cable by the way, this is a cable from Amazon as well. The cable works. The adapters I tried from Amazon didn't. They're actually from the Amazon marketplace. So I'm going to turn the mon this monitor on. Plug that into the back. This screen goes blue for a second and I have two monitors. It's as simple as that with a Mac. It's, it, it's quite straightforward in Windows as well. I can simply now go into System Preferences, go to Displays, and then I can adjust each display individually. It's actually got a, a different background on this one, which is weird. If I just change that I can set separate desktop backgrounds for each monitor. I 
and it works perfectly I can drag a window straight from this one straight across to that and it's just like having one long monitor in Windows you can set it up by just right clicking your desktop going to properties and then it, it's one of the tabs there I forget which one it is it's a long time since I've been to that dialog box and them settings but it's it's just the same you can set the resolution of each monitor you c you r arrange them so y you drag you get like two little boxes and you drag them around to show the physical relationship between the monitors where they are in real life so if you so you set it so so when you move your mouse across from one to the other it it stays in line basically or if you've got the monitor at the other side you just drag the box to the other side you'd understand if you actually saw it but that's how easy it is it's as simple as just plugging another monitor into your computer as long as it has the correct video output and it's and your graphics card supports two monitors most new ones do now um, my Mac mini doesn't the, the latest Mac minis do however so that's a mini DVI to VGA adapter here's my advice if you want one that for a Mac that works buy it from Apple it's it's expensive but if you get one from somewhere else it's less likely to work you can try it but if you like from the Amazon marketplace for example these various sellers often charge you to send them back if they don't work which is a, the downside from just trying them I was lucky they actually paid for the post refunded the postage but often they don't so just buy one from Apple and it comes in a nice packet as well info at jackie.com that's my email address info at jak-e.com it's also my blog jak-e.com where you'll find these videos my live stream my live chat and more thanks for watching